it's time for our partial throttle testing. Now, uh, from our previous tests, we saw that the uh, that the HV160 outperformed the Cosmic 200 by nearly 25 degrees Celsius at the end of the three minutes. Now, our yeah, partial throttle testing will be run at 50% throttle uh, at 25% of the ESC's rated current. Um, the test duration will be three minutes. I'll be measuring the start and finish temperatures just like before. Um, and I'll be, calib I'll be setting the 50% uh, by looking at the actual phase voltage and setting it to a 50% duty cycle as opposed to just setting my transmitter stick to 50% yeah, because sometimes 50% stick does not correspond to 50% throttle so I'm going to be looking at the phase voltage to set the 50% now it's at partial throttle where it starts to get interesting because ESC is under much more stress and um, yeah, so we saw that the HV160 did outperform the Cosmic 200 in our full throttle test, but let's see how it's going to go in our partial throttle test. Start temperature is 43 degrees Celsius and the timer has started. So we have 43 degrees Celsius at 50 amps and that's our 50% bottle. As you can see, it's 50%. Now we're going to set our stick to 50%. Yeah, so um, you can see that the actual phase voltage has been chopped up with the PWM, and that's how it controls your average voltage. Alright, so we've got 45 seconds now. The speedy is sitting on 61 degrees.
Okay, that's our test. Three minutes. All right, so our finished temperature is 93 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's actually quite hot. All right, so 93 degrees Celsius. So our delta T equals 50 degrees. Now, uh, time for the Castle HV160. All right, it's time to start testing the HV160 at partial throttle. So, uh, as I did in the Cosmic 200 test, I'll be testing this at 50% throttle at 25% of its rated current for three minutes. And I'll be measuring the start and finish temperatures. All right, let's see how it's gonna go. That's our 50%. Now I'll just increase the load. 40 amps. Amp. 40 amp load. Start the timer. Alright, our start temperature is 44 degrees. Or oh, our start temperature, yeah, it's a bit. Oh, 42 degrees Celsius. 42 degrees Celsius. All right. That's the uh, the new commutation waveform that Castle is using. They're alternating the switching between the upper and the lower effects. That way they can share the. Uh, both the upper and the lower feds can share the freewheeling losses. It will make more effective use of the heat sink. Uh, that's running at 50 degrees Celsius now, and that's one minute. She's starting to get quite hot. Forty nine, forty two. That's the uh, two minute mark. I'll wait till the end. I don't want to show you what the temperature's at now. I'll just wait till the end. So we're still at 50% duty cycle. That's two minutes and 30 seconds. Two minutes forty five. Okay, that's our three minutes. Okay, so as you can see, uh, depends what part of the heat sink you point to, we're sitting at 110 degrees Celsius or 112 degrees Celsius yeah so we'll say 112 112 degrees Celsius uh, now that's a change in temperature of 70 degrees 
which is quite significant because we're only running at 40 amps and it's a 160 amp speed control. But anyway, as you can see, um, the HV160 outperforms the Cosmic 200 at full throttle. The uh, Cosmic 200 outperforms the um, the HV160 at partial throttle. Um, also keep in mind that the Cosmic was actually switching at 32 kilohertz. The IS160 was switching at 24 kilohertz. So theoretically, the Cosmic should have more switching losses in which it does. However, the IS160 has much more freewheeling losses. So if the IS160 was also switching at 32 kilohertz, it could have finished up at, at around 120 or 125 degrees Celsius. So the results are quite interesting. I'll just let that cool down and uh, thank you for watching.